Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode with me, Buffire, and today I did most of the fix, but not a lot of it, because this thing instantly overheats. So one of two things I can think of. Gold is currently the... Wait, family... Maybe that might have, excuse me, might have a better intake. Also, I changed out the toilets. But also, I'm thinking that either the lot water comes out incredibly hot. So, I'm thinking on what... I should do to be able to easily cool it so my duplicates aren't walking in hot water every time. And also, the only thing that's really hot, that gets really hot, is the thermal aquifier. Wait. And then the thermal... thermosensor. I could boom automation wire that's it that's why I got it to him thank you okay so your overheat temperature is 170 so below below send a signal of 160 and in theory And it's overheating again. Dang it. So how hot is this? So let's turn that to a... Okay. So. Now that I know this. I'm going to turn you down to 9, and I know heat rises, so... This is currently 100, over 100 degrees Celsius. Compared to the rest of the room where it's pretty cool. 38 over here. 37 over here. Do I want... I want thermally conductive, so that it sucks the heat away. That's what I want. Okay. So, first things first, I need to try and fix this. Because thermosensor, automation wire, and just to be safe, I'll put another one right here. Priority, max them all out. And now y this is cooling down w incredibly quick. But also, I'm worried about... Oh, yeah. Cannot access the colony's food. But we Gossman gained a new skill. Uh, I will have you also train in... Decorating. And you've already mastered decorating. How so? How about suit training? There.
So, okay. This is at 70 degrees Celsius. Okay, so I'm thinking about how to solve this problem. Now it's 49 over here, but it's still really cool over here. Hey. Okay. So if though this cooldowns cools down incredibly quick. These on the other hand don't. So I have an idea. Sorry about that. Yes, I'm sorry that it's hot, Bonnie. Textile loom and carpet tile. Okay. Well, anyway. First things first. I need to find a material that... Heat thermal conductivity. Background buildings. Temp shift plates. Good, good. That's what I want. So you'll see what I'm trying to do. Here in a minute. As soon as they're done deconstructing all this. Who is... Come on. Also, I've au automated the loading of the coal furnace, so we're good here. I'm still emptying out some polluted oxygen from in here, sadly. Thank you. Okay, so it's here. Boom. Let me make these max. You'll see what I'm doing in a minute. Okay. Apparently it's about 50 degrees right here. Buildings. There. Okay. So the reason there are copper temperature shift plates right here, I want automation, thermal sensor here, and also probably here. Okay, so then automation, I want a filter. What does the filter gate do? Well, I'll... Can you... I don't want that. Do I want a buffer gate? I'll put a green signal of the... No, also... Or... 
I could do an ore gate. Actually, this might be a perfect time for an ore gate. If I can orientate it, right? Or... Yeah, I think this might be good, actually. Can I orient... No. Okay. Zor? No. I'm trying to think this out. So, okay. I want this one to be above 160. And this one to be below... 30. Okay. So I have these two. So if I feed it into a knock gate. Well, above 47. And then I put in a knot up here and then with automation wire going here here and here then I can deconstruct with max and then also deconstruct with max and now Wait, did I mess that up? Above. Okay, so. It heats itself up really quick. But these should be attempting. It's still overheating. Why is that? Okay, so I'm just looking at this. So that current temperature is good. This one is at 60. Okay, so I could turn this to 60. And as soon as both of these cool off, which they should start cooling off pretty soon because that is cooling off rapidly. Okay. And an Atma sensor. Okay. So I'm kind of... Yes, I know I have a whole bunch of seeds. Duplicant. Stinky. Improved construction for you. So it's above 50, so let's do 70. If it's above 70 degrees in here, or the Atmo sensor is. Well, I want it to be directly connected. I want this thing's temperature to read, not something else's temperature. But, um, hmm, I'm trying to think. Oh, and also, I wonder why no one's fixing these. Well, anyway, okay. So, I'm just trying to figure this out. <sighs> I'll say 50. But it cools the water down to, like, how hot? 26. It but it gets cooler, so this water is cooler overall. So my plan is...
is to drop it into here. When it's below 50 in here, so the water can re-condense, but... Will that work? Well, I'm just really waiting on this to cool down. Which, it's cooling down, but taking a while. So, I don't think this is really the most efficient way. Let's do construction. Okay, so that might not be the most efficient. The most efficient might be having a thermal sensor sitting right on top of it. Automation. With automation. Thermo sensor right here with two pieces of automation wire here and here. Then pause it, then make it above. Below. Okay. So. So you are 94 while you are 51. So, I'm going to make you 50, and then above. I meant below. And now you're starting to get damaged. Okay. But you are cooling, heating up now. Okay, so I'm st this is a finicky system, but it is cooling now. So I have that going. It is cooling. So if I were to say something like 60 possibly, it can run and run. But this one is still not 60, so 55. Boom. There. And this one's flipping, but over here, okay, so now I would say, boom, mm, plumbing, then li liquid, there, then liquid pipe running all the way up into this one, then from that one, Probably run it up to there for right now. And then also, okay, now all we need is power in here. Simple. And Ari is starved. Okay, well, I can probably disable There we go. And then as soon as those wires are built, it'll pump up here. And you are set for 55. You want to be below it. Well, let's say 40, because it'll give this a lot more time to run. But also, it won't give the room as much time to cool. Idle food shortage. Yes, I know we have a food shortage. So drywall and atmosphere. Boom and boom. Ooh! Atmos suit forge. Tempting. I could 
go on and explore downward. Abe, I'm sorry you you're starving. I can't really do anything right now. But okay, so hopefully this system sort is sorted out. But it would be the most efficient, I think. Well, I honestly don't know how it would be most efficient. So, but if I were to do liquid pipes, go from here to here. Okay. Do uh, buildings here. Build a ladder up. Priority construction maximum for all of that. Oh. Yeah, this is probably a little bit important. And then have this pipe. Oh wait, this room needs to be a vacuum. I just realized that. Okay, well, pipe going up. Okay, then a bridge with in, out, and then continue up. No, wait. Hang on. There should be a spout, like, right here. Mmm... Then let me maximize all this. Then deconstruct this one. Plumbing. Then I need an out vent right there. Out of gold, sure, why not? Then up. Okay. Now I have that. Then I need to get a... Both these rooms need to be vacuums. But sadly, there's oxygen in here. So. You'll see what I'm doing in here in just a second. Okay, there we go. So, okay. Then I need ventilation. Do I have a small... I do... Oh, wait, that requires plastic. I don't have plastic. Then right here. Then gas pipe up. Then gas vent out. But I need a gas valve. Does this have automation? I think this does. No, this is not what I'm looking for. Okay, plummet. Nope, vents. Yeah. Um, gas shut off. Automation grid. Yes, this is what I'm looking for. No, this is. Yes, there we go. Boom. Then deconstruct. Gas pipes. Max. There, then I need to go into ventilation, ventilation, then put gas pipe up, in, and then up and in. There, all that is set now.
Currently, I want you to be set to above. Then I can deconstruct you. But then I will also need a liquid pipe. I mean, liquid transport. This is really difficult because I'm not one who works with this. So doesn't... Seriously? Above 50. Seriously? Okay. Okay, so then I want to pipe out... Well, I'll work on piping out all the oxygen. I will pause. Boom. 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 Then I want base. Manual. Boom. Boom. Then I want to wall this off. Actually, do I want a manual airlock? No, I want a mechanical. Me mechanized. There and there. Then, I could do a fart eater, but I won't. Then I need, uh, gas, no, automation, yeah, atmo sensor, within a chosen range in here, with automation wire, running two. And two. Then I want to ventilation gas pumps here, here. Then and don't worry, I'm not going to make you guys watch them build this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to have them build this off camera. Do I want this connecting to the main? Yes, I do. And also, cancel automation. Because I don't want the automation running to that. I want the automation running to those. There. Build. So I hope this system works. I'm so sorry, Abe, that you're sick, but... Below... Zero. And I need a fit or not, okay. Look at me. I'm... probably makes sense to put at above zero. Put an insulated tile in there.
that sweep has to get out of there. Because that's... Um... Okay. Well, this would also be a good deconstruct. So you all don't have to waste your breath again. Okay, well, that's going to be the episode there, you guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, all that amazing stuff. And I will see you all in the next one. <laughs>